Oh hoi hoi guys, what is going on? Arky Sam here, and I am with Les Shade Orion. Deciding he wants to be a quiet boy. That's up. Oh, I actually didn't hear you at all. My bad. And we're doing another rep of Wasteland 3. Uh, I did say last episode we were going to go to see Rosie Wong, but I had a brain fart, and by brain fart, I mean I've started another save game for myself to play for the shiz and giggles. So I realised what we have to do to get this quest done, and we've got to talk to one more person, and that is Kendall. This man's face is a cross hatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you approach. Hell oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. So obviously, Rangers Ken's a bit Ken of a. Doll. Oh, sorry, Quan's a bit of a regular here. Finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. So we are looking for a man named Delgado. 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 Delgado Rabato. Really oh, I'm gonna need a hundred bucks for a bribe. I hope we have a hundred dollars. Uh, kind of Pretty sure we do. Should be paid to do. Kendall, we have like nearly a thousand dollars. Oh, hells yeah. Right, so how much right. money will it cost to remember where Delgado is? I need serious cash. Any less and it isn't worth the risk. I mean, if we had five barter, we could probably nag him or haggle him down, but here's a hundred bucks, yeah. <coughs> Kendall. <laughs> I knew I should have asked for more. Ha! Huh? Well, no taxi backsies. All right. I gotta say, um, I told you Baldur's Gate 3 looks pretty... pretty. <laughs> yes, I was gonna play, but I'm just gonna wait till it's out of early access so they can work on the balancing and all that, and so all the content's there. Yeah, probably wise. It'd be good to do Baldur's Gate 1, 2, and 1 and 2 at some point as well. But then again, it would also be good to do Wasteland 1 and 2 at some point as well. Throw them on the back catalogue if that's ever growing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Now Daisy's gonna want Trying to get dead. through the games I'm heads. already doing. <laughs> so many more I want to start. But really got to stick to finishing okay. the games we've already started. Bye. Right. Okay, so now that we've spoken to Kendall, we need to go down and talk to Charlie Boy downstairs, because now we can prove dead to rights that we've caught him out lying. It's the best, but I've heard of... Hello again, Red Hats. Right, we know you took Delgado <coughs> into the back rooms, and we need to get in there. Now. Well, ain't you a clever seed of Red Hats. Hell but yeah! Let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that. You know, I mean, I want to, but the entire everyone turns, like including all the patrons and stuff, so we just get manhandled with Look, sheer numbers. It wasn't Mr. I who may have shit stirred him on my other save file. Hmm. But. A little bird For a post-apocalypse, this is a pretty, um, pretty bumpin' club. Yeah, man, like, All you guys do. I think he's been here for a while, but, like, it looks, you know, pretty much uh, pre-war. Right, that makes sense. Tell us where to find this guy. Look for our man McTavish at the machine shop. See? Near that's Square. why we went to the machine shop last episode. I don't episode. what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved... I'm sure we what was it the episode we... four ago now? Yeah. Can, oh, we sure open... last episode. can we open the back room in that place yet? No, no. Confront McTavish. So we need to go back to the machine shop. Now the intercom will work for that back door. So then we can go into the back room. And then he's hiding out in there. Hope you hit the jackpot. And then we arrest. We, or we can, you can kill him, you can arrest him. And when we arrest him, we can actually decide whether we send them to the marshals for custody or whether we send them to our HQ. And because, fuck the patriarch, we're sending them to our HQ. You know what would be a really good way of doing multiplayer in a game like this? What? <clears throat> so imagine like Fallout 2, right? Right. Except in the beginning... There's two chosen ones, right? Just as an example. Okay. And instead of being on the same team, 
we can we're technically in radio contact but can pretty much go autonomously so you could go straight to Navarro if you wanted to. I know you can't because you need to unlock it first to be able to get there. But oh, you know so what I mean? you want like, the whole, so you want like the whole squad to be able to like run on its own, go to their own instances, but run off yeah. the world map. But if stuff's hard, then you could join back up again. How good would that be? But at yeah. the same time, it's still technically the same save. So like reputation and all of that sort of stuff and experience is still shared, except for maybe kills. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Like, that would be great. And yeah, like... I, I, I like the idea of that. Like, I th Wasteland 3 is on its way to the... Uh, on, yeah, on its way, like... As yeah, long as definitely. we're in the same map, where we can be pretty much autonomous, and our reputation on, and what our actions will affect the other person. So if you do go start wailing on, you know, cunts, that's it, I'm going into a fight as well. Oh my god, I hate that it does this, man. It just unselects the rest of my team. Controller Master Race. I mean, that's probably just a hot hot key for select all that I just don't know about. I should probably check that, huh? Yeah, that would be an idea. That will help you later on down the line. Right, so I've got to do up lock picking next level, and then after that, probably start working on sniper rifles for a bit again. There isn't. But I can select them all using the numpad by being like one, two, or three. No. So, poor choice. Yeah, that's actually really surprising. Because on controller, you just get you just got to hold in R three, and you can either go select one or select all. I want to select all. Still, these old Fallout style games, I don't regret choosing to use a mouse and keyboard, considering. Oh, yeah, I was sort of torn, but when it comes to Wasteland, I'm just far, my muscle memory is just far more used to a controller than a key, uh, KB and M, so. Now we can use this intercom. The intercom is caked in grime, it hasn't been cleaned in years. We press the button. <laughs> Come on, McTavish, don't make us break down the door. Huh. Wow. No we live in a world where doors are more valuable than people. We're gonna kill him anyway. No, we're gonna arrest him. But we're sending him to our age, quite our brig, not the marshals. Huh. Yeah, we are ruthless. Oh, just give me control of the conversation. Oh, what? Bollocks! I'm screwed. You got ten seconds to tell us who let the Dorseys into the city. Ten seconds. I don't know what you're talking about, just leave me alone. Don't you know I'm under Farm Brago's protection? You can't touch me. Hey. And we, and you know what, fuck, I'm going to use the Patriarch for Isle. Uh, nefarious gains. We're under the Patriarch's protection, so Brago wouldn't dare touch us, no matter what we do to you. You? The Patriarch? Yeah. What? Ah, fuck that with a shite. This ain't fair. Everybody shuts on me, everybody. I don't care, McTavish. Okay, okay. Who's like you got me at a disadvantage? What is that five hundred dollars bit? He wants us to pay him five hundred dollars to leave town. And that's why I'm gonna arrest him. Good. You I'm pretty sure it's Either talk to us or we take it to the marshals. Your choice. Ah, damn it hell, I'm not going back to the stocks, no way, fine, I'll spill your muggy desert trash. Pretty sure that was the better option because he's been put up on the pillories before and he's lost his nose because of it. Okay, hmm. yeah, I let the doses in the city, and I'm glad I did. At least I could you be up to the pit and the pillories. I saw froze my bloody face off. I got a career where my nose should be. 
Of course I wanted some revenge. Wouldn't you? So, to get revenge on the Patriarch, you let the Dorseys pillage the town and murder dozens of innocent civilians. I, I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. Oh yeah, they're just going to conveniently leave everybody else alone. Did Brago have anything to do with the Dorsey attack? What? No, oh, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not have done us nothing. I reckon he's glo he's covering. Damn straight. I've heard enough. What are you going to do with me? So he can get out of town. We can let him go, but we can shake him up. We can arrest him. Or we can just kill him. Arrest or kill. Yeah, I'm torn between these two. I feel like if we are going to try and take over Colorado properly when the Patriarch eventually drops, not that I I know from anything, I just reckon he's going to die halfway through. That's been my prediction that I told Shade. We're going to need everyone on our side, so we're going to need to show everybody that we can not be super, super hard-ass, because that's everyone's problem with Liberty, is that, she's going to, that everyone doesn't want her taking over because she's a dictator. So we'll arrest you. We'll and if we you. change our mind, we can always just go down to the brig and shoot him in the head. And that's always <laughs> a very good point. I didn't think of that. You'll be safest in custody. Come with us. Custody, you hoors! Didn't I tell you what you had to know, you fucking love it the sea? <laughs> Get in the brig, you bitch. Fucking slap Copy them on. Everyone. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. Oh, transport. Stop giving me authority. <laughs> what the hell? And Not as, you. As we game. can see here, uh, so we can we've detained McTavish and we can decide where to send him. So yeah, marshals. If we want to get some more prep with them, or we're like I said, sending him to our brig. Bring him in, boys. We, we should put him in the same cell as that homeless guy we killed. He gets assigned his own cell. Otherwise, yeah, I'd love to put everyone in the same cell. Just let them fight it out. That's true justice, isn't it? If you make it out alive, boys, you're in. You're innocent. Look at you, Luton. Get out of it. It's mine. Yeah, go, go take that ammo box over there. Ooh, a book for increasing mechanics. Who is our mechanic on this setup? I've been playing my other setup recently, so... Ah, oh, it's this dude. Hell yeah. Shit. That's not it. Oh, look. Me. Ball bag. Comes. I want to know where you Hey, you have a face like a scalp there, you know, man. Aye. That'll do. Faking it after all. I was going to say, how does a Scottish accent survive a post nuclear apocalypse? And like a hundred years of breeding. Alright, have you got everyone together? You we cunt. <laughs> Yo, we cunt. So well, ah, finally. That was sort of doing me hit my head in last episode, wondering why McTavish wasn't triggering. As because we as I said, we didn't talk to everyone, because we I always forget about Kendall. Even did it in my save file that I was playing for funsies, like I was literally running around New Vegas. And New Vegas, Little Vegas, I'm getting my games mixed up now, goddammit. <laughs> did see you playing it the other day, though. Yeah, I was uh, modding up my new California setup. Hmm. For the uh, other side of the playthrough, because I did the Patriot slash Enclave side, and I, tried, I think I ended up starting with the Raiders. And I was like a full, just brute. So this time I'm going to go like full science nerd, have a whole bunch of robots, try and recruit as many people as I can. Not go like super goody two shoes, but that asshole good that I'm just well known for on this channel. Every time I exit an area, it unselects my other characters. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a real pain in the ass. Wasn't doing it any other time, but maybe it's worth a reload after this ep if we keep going. Oh no, I think it's just... 
a flaw in the game design. Because um, every time yeah, how I have that controller issue, I, like, I figured out how to sort it out in two seconds now. I have to load this game up, go to options, select the input mode, back to keyboard and mouse, then select it back to controller, and then it's fine. Hmm. So we're heading back to Little Vegas here once Shade and Co. rock up. And then when we get here, the we can uh, trigger the bar fight. <laughs> which gets Old Mate to uh, leave his precious computer for a few seconds, which is all the time we need for me and Grim to hack the computer. Goddamn Grim. Are we going in? I am, oh. I've been standing here for a long time. I was right behind you. <laughs> Oh, I, sw I swore that I saw green circles off in the distance. I'm like, I got plenty of time. What are you on about? Cut your shit. I wish we could take over Little Vegas and make this the Ranger HQ. Well, like maybe just... in game you can come back here and clear it out, so oh. to speak. I well, once we arrest everyone. Sorry, once we uh, arrest Mc. Uh... I was going to say McTavish, play uh... Fi uh, Frigo. We can leave, come back, and then everyone's out, so we can raid the back rooms. Hmm. I am down for free stuff. Hey, that's the bar fight. That's Hello it. Hello there, Red Hats. What's the rush, huh? Why don't you tell your old pal Charlie what you found out from McTavish? Hmm, considering that you've been a bit of a lying cunt. None of your business. We're going to talk to Brigo, not Frigo. Brigo. Frigo is a better name. <laughs> oh, oh, right, yeah. Fair enough. He should be the guy you talk to anyway. If you got good news for him, I'm sure he'll be open to a deal. Oh, he'll be open Dude. to a deal, all right. So, uh, Get kiss your own ass, you little fucker. Bastard McTavish. Also, what he's... part of none of your business doesn't he get? Why don't you go look and find out? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking weasel. Now, why would you be like that to your good pal? Because it's even better because we didn't kill him, right, so he's literally right. just going to walk into a room of nothing. And be like, what? <laughs> mm. And then by the time he comes back, this place is going to be shut down. Good. Go on upstairs and talk to Mr. Bragg. All right, now, fuck off. See you later, Red Hats. Get out. This is the last time you'll ever see this place open. See you later, Red Flag. For we oh, did. Here we go. So you want to go here? What do you want? Can't you see we're busy yelling at each other? You're the one yelling, and if you don't stop, they're going to kick us out. Course Kiss ass slow. three, egg them on. Fight, 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 fight. I've never been to and now we run, bit of a time sensitive thing. So when it comes to around the computer bit. here, oh, never See what you did. the console reads Dante's Radio Controlled Ventilation Systems Inc. Please enter password to continue. You know, stuff for the hack. You successfully bypassed the pa password Kestrel. Welcome to Dante's Radio Controlled Ventilation System. The radio frequency for this unit is 154280HC. How would you like to pre-program a climate routine to set later via radio? Yes. You set the system so the fan will turn off and the heat will rise to max when you send a signal to the computer. Then reset the password to Brigo by the Bay one, well, yeah, 115. I'm not sure how that works for a password, but whatever. Done. Fine, dork. So, everything's set. We've booby-trapped the computer. We've set the bar fight. Let's go arrest this Rangamovo. <laughs> oh. I need this after recent events in my personal life. Whoa. Uh, he yeah. looks like a, a Marvel villain. Right. There's someone else he's reminding me of that's like a bit... Oh, not... not too, yeah, Tombstone, but, you know, just a Ranga Tombstone. I understand you had a little talk with he looks like Archie now, from you know him as as you are, Archie Comics, except he's 45, <laughs> but, well, and a gangster. He's always been an idiot. Someone else, I'm just, he's, I can't put my talk? finger on it. Right, so we could go for all these other options here, and we can just outright attack him, but if we attack him, the yeah, as everyone turns on us. So, nope, oh, arrest. We hacked your ventilation system and set it to overload. You come quietly, or we torch this place with the press of a button. Boom! Aren't you clever? Realizing I don't mind dying so much, but I'd hate to see this place burn. Yeah, it's because your precious legacy, bruh. 
Right, I'm ready. Give me the bracelets. He's a big boy, too. Look at him. He is. Surprised he didn't want to fight. Copy, team is he going to our brig as well? Yes, What's we new? can send him to the marshals as well, but... Uh, Farron <laughs> Brago has surrendered, sent a squad to lock him up in HQ, baby. Copy that. Congratulations, November 1. That's a mighty big fish you brought in. Over and out. Hell yeah. A mighty big what? Fish. It is. So can we now Go rob get everybody forever? Back room. Alright, so what I do here is, um, if we touch anything while these goons are here, they will lose it. So, yeah, we get Delgado mm -hmm. out, and we can come so, back, right? and then they're gone. So we can loot everything to our heart's content. Hmm. And then we use Grim to hack this. So now all the doors are open. Lockpick over here. Ooh, a skill book on sneaky shit, which I believe is you, Shady Boy. I don't know. Pretty it's sure, a... Snyder, I'm pretty sure I told you to couple sneaky with your sniper. Well, I was never doing that. <laughs> How dare. Because I'm not a sniper. <laughs> oh, I'm the sniper. Yeah. Um, I did get my characters confused there for a second. This sneaky cunt. <laughs> Oh, but I don't have sneaky shit on this character. Who does have sneaky shit? Quan. Why does Quan have sneaky shit? I don't know if he's going to be on the team for the whole game. Yeah, I'm... Wow. Maybe, maybe That's a really dumb oversight on my part. Wow. Because, yeah, start putting that on your character I'm then. going to, for sure. I mean, I've got mechanics at, like, six at the moment, so that's pretty decent. I want to get... Lock picking to five, well, actually, it's on four. I need to get to like five, six, ideally. So I can start opening all the safes and stuff that come up. Hmm. But yeah, sneaky shit's good for my character because it increases perception, and I always want more of that. Sneaky shit. So there's a level six safe that we can come back and open later. Mm. Delgado, we have been looking for you. This clean-cut marshal looks like he is in his mid-thirties. His honest, open face gives him the appearance of a man in the prime of his life. Hey, Delgado. Bet you thought Daisy forgot all about you. Quan, how'd you get past the guards? Are these the rangers? I like how in his cell specifically he's got a fuck Brago written. That's right, Daisy sent us to find you. Good old Daisy. Always takes care of her people. I appreciate you coming in here to bust me out. Didn't I forgot that I turned my entire team right into, like, a, a SEAL team. A thing or two. Oh, yep, yep, like, with all the armor and stuff. Well, they've all got the face masks and stuff on, so now they all just look like bad guys from a, um... Metal Gear Solid game. <laughs> so, how did you get captured, Delgado? I've been keeping an eye on Brigo for a while. I have like a bit of a ragtag setup going, Likes to play both like one full American sure sniper, goals. Grim set up a bit like a seal, yeah, and then bloody Quan's wearing all that ragtag stuff. So he just looks like he's come out of Springfield nuclear power plant. Well, I mean, that's I better than got too close the, to the, the Scott. <laughs> I don't know. The door, took my weapon and everything. Good thing you I'm hoping that when I get back to Ranger HQ I can get someone wearing all the, uh, the dildo crown. Alright, head for the door when you're ready. Will do. Hope I see you again. Hey, mate. Oh, I'm everybody. Already everybody. <laughs> I told Delgado to run to the door, but it applies to us because we're leaving. He sure has taken his sweet ass time by, you know, not moving up at all. Fucking screw you, hostess. I mean, I feel bad for you, but screw you. It's for the greater good. I could shoot her in the head. She only has 114 health. <laughs> Just that saying. is actually quite a bit of health for an NPC, funnily enough. But yes, you could just mincemeat that. So do we just go back in and it's empty, like, straight away? Uh, well, usually I don't go back in until after I've spoken to Daisy, so just in case that's the trigger. Yeah, true. Because that's when she's like, awesome, well done, here's your uh, quartermaster. 
Yes, yes. And then, don't we get like a science dude? I can't remember. Uh, so the quest that, that we got for Rosie Wong, that's the lead into the, that's the scientist quest. Yeah, we should do that before we go back and check uh, out. We, we, we're trying to, uh, well, we're waiting till I have five lockpick because I need five lockpick to open the door to do it. Yeah. And it's actually a really hard boss fight, but I figured out the non-fighting way of doing it. Thank God, because it is an absolute prick. Like, they will pretty much one-hit you. Because there's three of them, they have a lot of health. And they all have, uh, energy weapons, so everything bypasses armor. And there's a turret set up! I'm sure they could use my help. I want an energy weapon. I wonder who's gonna get there first. Probably Grim, I reckon. Oh, he's already got one, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that's, oh, the, yeah. that's the ferret launcher. I forgot. I forgot that it unselects my other characters. That is a real pain in the ass. That is, but it's only been happening this time, I'm pretty sure. It hasn't been happening in any of our other sessions, because otherwise I would have remembered you complaining about it. Maybe I was just more conscientious then. It's still a pain in the ass, goddamn. And Silas, little creepy fuck. Garden of the Gods, eh? And then we want to come up here. Hey, Daisy, baby. It's been a while. Here they are. That was one hell of a sneaky way to get Brigo to surrender. Round of applause for the Rangers, Marshals. Woo! Go I us. Keep them Brigo and Ranger Lockup. And I won't say I ain't disappointed. I wanted him here. Well, plus 10 Marshall reputation, though. Club is shut down. So she still was happy Not either way. Know what'll happen if they lay hands on a marshal. If yeah, you yeah, look above this house that we're in, Around here, we always the body of those friends. thieves is still there. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, I said I'd owe you a favor if you took care of this for me, and I meant it. Thing is... I'm pretty sure everyone on my team just got to level up out of that, so I'm, that's our lockpick out so the way, I'm pretty sure. Base to manage your army. He'll take good care Terra of did. And Delgado also is now coming to be our armory boy. Thanks again, Rangers. Good. You ever need my help? You know where oh no, it was not my character that leveled up. But Grim did, Quan did, and Terra did. Oh, this guy... Is literally 9 XP off leveling up though. 9. <laughs> Alright, so. Grim's got 6 intelligence, that's fine for now. I mean, I should give him a bit more awareness so he gets more damage and perception, but. I feel like it. Oh, no, 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 awareness. I'll do strength <laughs> later on. Oh, wait. That gun uses 50 cal ammo. Damn. With this three points. Not bad. We'll go nerd stuff. Save that point for later. And then for Quan. Oh, he's got a perk this level. Hells yes. I have him pretty mid range too, so I'm going to put awareness as well, because it ranged to end perception. I really need his to save three up points. A whole bunch of 50 cal ammo. No, I understand. I'm not understanding the logic of why I put Quan with sneaky shit, but I guess that sort of has just effectively doomed his fate for being removed from the body at some point. Eh, he wasn't that great. He wasn't. Ne uh, to be honest, neither is Lucia. I don't mind Lucia over Quan, to be honest, like, combat wise. Like, it was co probably way cooler characters, right? Well,. Minor spoiler, um, when there is a, I ha or I've spoken to an NPC who has given me a quest on my other save file to go free somebody, and apparently he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Well, so that's it, obviously better. So that's he's like, going to be like the, the immediate replacement. So. That's Bruce Campbell, man. <laughs> From um, Evil Dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it depends if he's... Uh, of dark colored skin and a gun, it's a, it'll be like a Barrett homage, but then I guess if he's pasty white and a shotgun, then yes, it's Bruce Campbell. It could be both, and or a Dine homage, because Dine... Oh was... yeah, Dine! Oh my god, that's... He was an homage to um, Evil Dead, because... Yes, that makes perfect shotgun. sense, yes. So that was why that was the Dine Barrett um, dynamic, so to speak. 
I'll be interested to see what they do with Dine in the remake, actually. Especially because, you know, get the whole guns thing will be involved. I doubt they'll, they'll uh, make him as crazy as he was last time. I feel like they'll try and make him a bit more of a sympathetic character. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> of course they will. Nah, oh, I wanted a cray cray. I'm just gonna kill them all. I, mean, I also just wanted a one-to-one -one remake of the game as well, but apparently that was asking for too much. That's what we got mods for, though. <laughs> yes, one day it'll be brought out on PC. One day. One day soon. I'm pretty sure it'll only be like a year of... um. Huh, oh, that's right. I pissed on these snowballs last episode. And then just left them. <laughs> Good. It's like my legacy. Piss on the Hi. ground. Where are you going? This is where we need to go for are we the not scientists. Go, are we not going to go and clear out all the treasure out of the... Oh city? yeah, we've got to go back to the little Vegas to clear it out. Oh, actually, wait, I want to hold off because... Oh, wait, I've only got four lockpick. I can't open that six one yet anyway. All right, let's go. Well, we need to save up a bunch of 50 cal ammo, and then terror will just be a real terror. But in the meantime, she does have 50 a cal for weapon. a big gun? Jesus, what have, you, what have you got hidden in the wings? She's got a really, really ridiculously powerful gun. It's just we don't have a lot of... Yeah, 50, 50 cal is also just not cheap ammo either. Yeah, I know. That's probably going to be her endgame weapon. What was the big gun requirement on it? See? Okay, that's close to endgame, yeah. It does. Come in, team no oh. Member, Ranger Damn it. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, this quest. Is he talking on your screen? Yes. Okay, he's not talking on mine. Hells yeah, sounds like our fucking best friends. So, are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. Old enemy? Who are they talking about? No idea. Their guess is as good as mine. Interesting. Copy that Ranger HQ, we'll check it out when we go back. That's for after we'll we have a scientist. Well, as I said, I need five lockpick to get through that door to do the scientist quest, like whether we fight or sneak through. I know some marshals who could benefit from these. Like all this powder on the table, yes, I know a lot of people that could benefit from that. <laughs> oh yes, X. Yes, I can. I think I should get my level off. Oh, what? How much XP am I off? One. I am one experience off, and lockpick level four, perfect. Level up. And some drugs. You want to join the outfit, but you ain't got the lingo? Well, congrats, Jabroni, because you've come to the right day. The game's got up. addiction, got everything you need to know. It don't matter. Jabroni is one of those words that sounds like a racial slur. It really does, doesn't it? Get out of here, yet, Jabroni. Let's get you mobbed up. Oh, yeah, I forgot to look. So, Tara. Why have you not equipped that other gun, Terra? Right, so lockpicking five, sniper rifles at four, and what's my perk? I should probably start saving the, the uh, uh, deployables instead of selling them all the time, because I really seem to have bought them up with my perks. Yeah. Like, the first one I can give them extra 25% and extra con and damage, second... Repairing vehicles and robots also boosts con and damage. Well. But I'm thinking I might go emergency response because uh, once someone goes down, I get 1.0 combat speed for two turns. As it turns out, this gun does 23 to 31 times 5 damage. Jesus. And my current weapon is 10 to 14 times 9. 
so I'm more than double the output. But I'm trying to eventually replace the other one, so I've got that rocket launcher as a backup. So I'm only one point of explosives off using it, so we keep the RPG-7. Alright. Excellent, and now we can slowly, do the scientist quest. Slowly need to build up the other stuff. Have we searched everywhere? We've got, like, stuff to do, don't we? Yeah, I just was like, hey, I, I need to get this thing prioritized so we can continue with progress. And now we can. See if there's anything Perception would be able to unveil. Do you, do you have six lockpick? No, I have five. Damn, because there is a, a six. safe in there. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I'm going to have to come back later and pop that bad boy open. But I'm pretty sure that was everything. Here, yeah, I just wanted to show you that obviously this is a now empty nightclub. All the gangsters without a home, patrons without anywhere to party, even the DJ robot's been dismantled and put out of commission. I'm pretty sure, yeah, well, he's usually up on the dance floor. And I'm pretty sure even the brothel's out of commission now. Yep. Bye bye, brothel. Wipe away those tears, Terra. <laughs> <laughs> Only good thoughts here. Only good <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> so, so there's no, like, boxes or anything anywhere? Damn. No, I, we were pretty thorough like, as we were doing it. I really expected more. That's a shame. Well, there is a, there is that six chest. I do have that open on my game. It's just, like, random leveled gear, but still pretty decent. Uh, have you got everyone together? Or are you missing your other peeps? It doesn't matter. They'll come with us when we transfer. I'm at the... I need everyone to assemble. For fuck's sake. This is fucking annoying. You know what the most annoying part is? That you keep forgetting? No. That they were already part of my party that I selected. They just decided to unselect themselves. Uh -huh. and that, that that's is a pain in the ass. Fucking you, should be able to, you should be able to just set a group. Like, should... control one makes one select all. There has to be hockey for a PC if you've got it for controller. No, instead it's like numpad, so the first character will be one, the second character will be two, the third. So character. every time you're loading, you just gotta go one, two, three. No, that selects them individually. I need to drag. I need to like select all manually. Oh, like hold and drag. Yep. So what I mean, it's just seems like it's um. A flaw in the game design, and maybe they'll patch it one day. This game isn't that. But old. it was only happening, wasn't happening any other time. So maybe this is something new with the patch that's come through. Either that, or I was just more thorough in those earlier episodes. This is Gideon Reyes. I'm addressing you from Broadmoor Heights. The patriarch has made it known that you are in need of logistical support. Yes, yeah. Happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange. I'd like to ask that you I love the irony that the Patriarch is setting us up to destroy him. <laughs> yes. He's all going to be like, oh, thank you. Thanks for helping. And I'm like, we're not. We're helping ourselves. <laughs> He'd be so upset when we tear down all the American flags and put up Australian ones. <laughs> and when we massacre his children. Yeah. We're definitely going to do we're not, No one's coming back alive. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights. The marshals. So we've been now given access to the rich part of town where Lucia's uncle lives, Gideon, the guy that we we're just talking to. So that is progress forward. Hey, these dogs are doing a curious sniff. At my peoples. Not at my peoples. So, scientist quest. Oh. When we do that Gideon quest, I haven't actually done it at all, so I don't know how to do it all the way through, but his quest is the quest that gets us our mechanic. Yeah, we need one of those. This is the Sam's Luck department. Then we'll be able to upgrade our, um, our vehicle. That's it. The Rangers are here to see Miss Wong. And we definitely need that because there's a bit of radiation on the world map, and I can't, well, none of us can drive through it, because pretty much we just get... Everyone gets health damage. How much of the episode have we got left? 10 minutes? 20 if we go for a full hour? <laughs> Probably try and make this one a little nicer and we'll just get the scientist stuff done and then we'll call it an app there. Yeah. 
just because, well, if we get stuck in the fight, you'll probably see what happens, how hard they just mince us. Hmm. That's why there is a sneaky way to do it, and I know how to do it. And there's also another random side quest in here, and some random stuff. Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are the color of caramel corn. Yuck. They think I'm a pest. Hey, I'm vigilant, is what I am. V I G I L. Takes a deep drag. A N T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers. I got a situation here. Lay it on us, baby. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? How would anyone recognize you wearing that, Quan? Shut your face. You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Oh, I can't believe I gave him sneaky shit, but uh, as I said, I'm silver lining, it means now I know I'll have to get rid of him and experiment with somebody else. So what seems to be the trouble? The guy in room three. Er. We're not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. It's like a mess lab to me. Heh, <laughs> sounds science-y. Like science magic. Have you looked inside the room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Well, we can't have that, can we? Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. But we'll explore this whole building. There's a couple of know. goodies in here. Okay, so okay. this is, pretty sure, Rosie's room. She's the crazy cat lady, but she's got a drug stash. All right, Marshal, up. If you won't take my noise complaint seriously, do your and we job. come There's over here, yes. Oh, excellent. i got enough mechanics to do this. A cyborg chicken. While sickly and starved looking, this chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal, and cybernetic parts are implanted in its body. Oh, I don't have enough animal whisperer, I need three. Goodbye. We already have a cyborg chicken anyway. You can have more than one. Yeah, but we don't want more than one. We want a different animal. No, we want a menagerie of a gaggle. Oh, Not of cyborg chickens. We yes, want... plenty of cyborgs. Chicken. We've got a dog. My game, oh, I had a two, yeah. like my big game on PS4, I had a two-headed goat, a clone of yeah. myself, cats, a chicken, multiple does, chickens. Does a clone of yourself count as an animal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it counts as an animal, yeah. But it gets tied to your, obviously, whoever gets cloned, so it doesn't count, like, to the person's animal whisperer limit. And this guy just tells you to fuck off. Get the fuck out of my apartment. Which is the logical explanation when a whole bunch of people randomly walk into your house. But you're right, we also have guns. This is the random... What I'm pretty sure is going to be a random side quest later on. Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. This hood figure pig ugh, peers at you, unblinking, and offers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. We take the case. Ah, uh, thanks. Alert. Do not delete local references to objects. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. It appears he's telling you not to open or discard the case, or you'll face some serious kind of consequence. He turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room. Custom C -node I want his bloody pointers. cloak. Very reminiscent mm -hmm. of the purple one before that too, but just drained of colour. Yeah, let's keep the case closed forever. Oh, we're going to. Until, unless someone's like, yo, give us our thing. And it's like, here you go. Get, I don't want it now. A booze box. Mile high mug filler. It's weed beer. Drink to turn... Oh my god. Drink to gain plus 25% melee damage for 36 p turns. But gain negative 2 AP for 60 turns afterwards. So weed beer is the way to more damage. IRL. There's a toaster in here for Grim to fix. Ooh, yes. I'm pretty sure we get to make a golden toaster this time. And I feel like that's going to be an achievement. Interesting. 
because on my game I'm like because I've got a couple of perks for my more loot and stuff in the toasters so like I've picked up a gold toaster case and a gold toaster plug yeah that sounds like we get to build a gold toaster maybe uh, it can turn into a um a party member all right I'm saving this midway just in case we get ruined and I do want to show you what happens so save up here you see there's my multiple saves my multiple games right five lock pick to open the door God, I hope we have enough explosives to stop. Shit. No, no one's got enough sneaky shit. Hmm. Why do they talk like Homestar Runner? Because they're very broken human beings. What's this dude down here dancing in his own blood? Of clone. Alright. Well, let's give this a crack. If we get oh, murdered. Yes, and they're all really strong. We need to disarm that thing. Ah, oh, it requires sneaky shit level 4. But no one has. <laughs> well, I'll do it. Come back! Oh. There's also a turret. Yeah, I didn't see the turret. That's a real shame. He's also... Oh my god. And also energy weapons, so it bypasses all your armor. Oh god. Our pets are all gonna die. That's why I saved it. Uh oh. <laughs> um another six safe. That's the cloning machine, that's the generator. I barely got enough AP to run to. Oh, damn, nearly destroyed it. Good. And then... Run a bit further. Oh, I got shrunk too, crap. Uh, Grim. Hunk. Thought our pets were smaller than normal. Also, like, me, my actual character got shrunk. I was like, oh, crap. That's gonna take... Oh, you mean I don't have enough AP. Okay, let's try... Oh, I can't move my guy because your guys are in the way. Can I move Quan? Ah, here we go. If I move Quan here. Oh, I got you. Let's get the top. Yeah, that guy that's standing near the turret is my biggest fear. Since he took three quarters of, uh, two thirds of my health in a single turn. Ah, yes, now Grim can move. Top it blocked. Out of range. So, what if we can't do this attempt with any decent progress? We'll come back once uh, someone's got sneaky shit for. This isn't a main quest, so we can go diverge, go do something, and then come back. Oh, I did yeah. also want to show you just how hard these guys wreck. Like, the first time, I have no idea how I just walked in with my characters on my PS4 game, and I just minced everybody. Oh my god, are you serious? What? It unequipped her weapon again, it keeps unequipping her weapon. What is going on with your game, this load? It is not being a good boy at all. Saying I'm out of ammunition. I'm not. Great, now I can't even take a turn. Lovely. Man, that, team, that turn was such bullshit. I already had my freaking weapon equipped. Target blocked. Maybe try and run her up near that herb clone that's near you. Gives him something else to shoot at. Man, that's gonna get her killed. <laughs> Yep. 
Jesus! They just were not stopping for you. Oh yeah, just have eight turns, it's fine. So then I'll defend and hope for the best. Grim heals. Uh, no, not that Earth clone. I need 21%, so apparently that Earth clone. Yay, we got a bullet into somebody. We're not completely useless. really heal. That'd be an idea. And then if we can start cracking that herb that all the animals are on, that's I think the one that's the most, or only one that's damaged. Target blocked. Wait, I'm pretty sure if Grim goes up to the machine, I'm pretty sure if he activates it, he can just kill them. Try and do that. Yeah. Because pretty much my peaceful solution is that you gotta snap that wire and then Grim sneaks into the computer and activates it. Oh, oh fuck you. We are so screwed now. Oh god! That was only Grim dead one shot. Go okay, Cyborg Chicken, save the day! Oof. Make them bleed, Fine. give them some status effects, something! Oh, you stupid dog. What are you doing? Go kitty! Ah, oh, you stupid kitty. Alright. I will be amazed if we live through this. I think now that I just had that brainwave, we might be able to hold out. I'm gonna take Grim with Ark with Grim because Ark's, I mean, yeah, Ark's the healer. <laughs> little Ark. Little Ark on his little way. Here's a small boy, and Grim is a dead, a dead, dead man. Oh, it's my turn. Well, that is unfortunate. I mean, one of them is nearly dead. Oh, finally! I have faith, but I'm pretty sure that one is just going to turn around and try and shoot Grim. And then succeed. And then he'll die. And then I'll bring him back. Really surprised that shrinking isn't automatically doing one damage. Oh, piss off, look at him, he ran straight towards the fucking cloning machine. And he's aiming right at Grim. That's right, keep missing. We're small, you can't hit us. Oh, another fucking shrink grenade. I'm already small. I can't be super small. Our pets have, um... Really served us well in this fight. They really have. Better than I was expecting. Oh my god, yes! Oh, what? I can't use it. No! Damn it, alright. Run over there. That means that I should run on top of it for the next turn. Can I go for the. Yes! 
Well, I have some vengeance of some kind. With that one, three percent running over there. Still fifty percent. That's fucking. Lame. Oh what? Lame. Didn't realize I used all my blade points. All right, prepare. All right, started off a bit of a train wreck, but we sh might be able to salvage it. I'm still going to say might because I'm not completely confident. If we can't access the cleaning machine in fight, then we're probably doomed. Why? Because these guys will probably out damage us. I mean, we're, unless we keep going the way we are, we might be able to pull through. Oh, yeah. I'm still 50 50 in this fight. <laughs> Especially with misses like that. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Little Lucia. Doesn't even come up to you. Or anyone. Oh, everyone grew back. Oh, he healed you. Fuck. I really hope that just took most of his points. Oh my god, Terra. Oh, Grim, no. Don't you kill our chicken, you jerk. Yeah, vengeance! Chicken's wrecking him! <laughs> All them sevens, baby. Yeah, get back. Yeah, take back those points he regained. Wait, what do you mean I can't revive him? Try again. I don't have enough AP, for fuck's sake. Oh no, I'm out of range apparently, what the f- No. Oh my god, he's out of the battle area, I can't revive him. So we got four turns. And then Grimm's permanently dead. Yep. Unless we reload for the next episode. <laughs> Which I feel like we might need to do. I'm not, I'm not going to lose Grim. I put too much points into his uh, nerd style. Of course. We could always do it off screen and just try our best. Oh no no, we can. There's a easy way to do this. So we do the other Earth climb with that precision strike. I think we got bullets this to the head. Time. I mean, if we can take out that herb this turn, we actually might be okay. Oh god, there's no healing left. Oh crap, and it's on the... Did this glitch to me last night, where you're in combat and then, like, they randomly disappear. Obviously, that red circle is where he is on the map, but yeah. Only his gun showing at the moment, so it's just a floating energy pistol that you're fighting. We have no more healing. Oh, my dude could still heal, but yeah, if he gets dropped, the healing is gone. Come on, Lucia. Do it! Oh. Of course, everybody needed to reload in that exact turn. Oops, and he fucking healed again. Yes, go for the animals. I don't condone animal murder usually, but it's either them or us. And there's me gone. Oh damn, you are wrecked. And I am the healer. Get him, kitty. All right, well, it's pretty much a time effort, so you reckon we should just call it here and then do a reload for next step? <laughs> oh, we'll go till we're dead. <laughs> oh, but... But... The shame. Nah. Shame! What if I, what if I do win? Like, literally, all I can do is just re shoot with Quan. That's all I've got. Oh, 
need this herb dropped in the turn, otherwise he's just gonna keep fucking hypoing himself. Which one? The one up the top? No, the one that you... Uh, yeah, that one. The one up the top? The one that's nearly dead. Right, we just need one lot of damage at us, not multiple sources. And this character really suffers from um, no AP constantly. Yeah, on that solo game that I got going, I've been trying to focus a bit more on coordination. Oh, use precision strike and go for a headshot. The other Earth clone. Four shots, Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. They get a billion freaking shots. They've got like 20 AP or something. Alright, can I? Yes, thank fuck. No, Grim's te still technically out of range. Probably should have just gone for the attack, to be honest. I need to heal, I didn't have enough for attack anyway. Yeah, but we're trying to get it done before Grim dies. You had a whole turn extra. I'm doing fuck all damage with this character, and I would rather bring up a guy that's my sniper, that with more damage. Yeah, but you've got Terra and Shade right there, and Terra has a heavy machine gun. <laughs> that's not hitting. So I'd it rather get my... It wasn't hitting because I was shooting through a shelf. Yeah, it's just Ark has more damage potential, so I ran and got him. It makes more sense. It's one shot with Ark is more than two turns worth with marshals. The fuck? What the fuck, dude? Why isn't it hitting? Something's in the way. Maybe you're a bit too close. It's bullshit is what it is. This really bothers me because we are so close and Grim is about to die. Please live Grim. Oh he just ran away. Oh. Don't. That's alright, shoot the nitrogen tank that's right near him. Yeah I've tried doing that before and I don't I don't have enough penetration to crack him. Come on, pets. Finish him. Go, kitty! This is our last chance. Alright. Six shots. I only got enough for one in me anyway. I think that should make up the range deficit. 50 shot. Jesus Christ. Come on! How is it still alive? It's got like a fucking nut hair of fucking health. And I bet you that'll be enough for what keeps it to Yep, because I can't fucking... Partner's and hand, thank Grim's fuck. Dead. And Grim's dead. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, we're... And it has literally yep, one hand. Yeah, we're reloading. Ah, oh, screw it. Um, yep, so dud it. End of a dud here. Uh, next step will be back to where we are. But we'll make sure we have everything sorted. And so yeah, we'll... that's a bit of a shitty note. I'm a bit pissy now. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, well, apart from this dud, we're usually a lot better than this, I swear. Uh, if you like what you've seen otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until the next ep of Wasteland 3, I am Ark, with me is Shade, and you're on Dude Go Back, and fuck of. Peace.